got some good news uh, for the citizens of the city of Albuquerque, and we're going to let FEMA make some announcements on that here in just a few moments. What I first want to do, though, is uh, introduce everybody that's here, give you a little bit of a briefing on some of the activities we had uh, with uh, all the rain and, and the activities over the weekend, and then I'm going to turn it over to Myra Diaz, who's here, uh, who's with FEMA, and she'll be talking about the award that the city will be receiving today. Uh, Bill Borthwick is also here. He's with Homeland Security. Uh, Curtis Cherney is our city hydrologist. Curtis is right behind me. Uh, Rudy Rael is the assistant city engineer. And Mike Reardon is here, as well as Susie Lubar from our planning department. There's Mike Reardon right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let, me, let me start. Also with us today is, is Roger Ebner. Roger isn't, Roger's back there. He's, wave your hand, Roger. Um, Roger is our Director of Emergency Operations and we were working very closely uh, with Roger both during the microburst storm that we had in July that was so devastating around the city of Albuquerque and also this weekend as we had some uh, flooding concerns in the city of Albuquerque. Uh, the latest update uh, that I received was yesterday morning, uh, Sunday morning about 8 o'clock. I was on a conference call with the Corps of Engineers, Bureau of Reclamation, the Conservancy District uh, and other stakeholders in the process. And uh, basically the information that I got for the city of Albuquerque is that we will have higher than normal uh, river levels uh, for the coming days, maybe up to a week. Uh, but other than that, uh, with the uh, drop off in the, in the moisture that we expect throughout the week, uh, we're being told that Albuquerque is actually in good shape. We've got some neighbors to the south of us that we're concerned about uh, that have had some additional flooding concerns. And uh, we've already told uh, most of those individuals that we are here for them if they need us as their neighbor to the north. Uh, but at this point in time, um, what we've been told is that the Corps of Engineers will be regulating the releases from both Cochiti Dam and from the Hamas Canyon Dam. And that's what they were doing over the weekend. So one of the reasons I think that Albuquerque was spared more damage during, this, uh, during these heavy rains over the weekend is because the Corps of Engineers did a great job of regulating those flows. That allowed some of the tributaries that have runoff to flow into the Rio Grande uh, without the additional uh, uh, water coming in from, from those two reservoirs. Uh, and that really helped keep the water at a manageable level. So many thanks to the Corps of Engineers, the Bureau of Reclamation, uh, the Middle Rio Grande Conservancy District, uh, all of whom did a great job working with us. Uh, Roger Ebner, his crew, uh, Chief Banks, uh, Chief Breen, Albuquerque Police and Fire Departments, the Department of Municipal Development was very active this weekend with their crews as well, their storm management teams, and our Parks and Rec Department, and everybody for just keeping folks in Albuquerque safe. So. Uh, we hopefully that the uh, worst of that's behind us. We're glad to have the moisture, um, but we're also glad that the flooding concerns have passed us. Now let's move on to, to today. Um, the citizens of Albuquerque uh, uh, are receiving an award from FEMA today, and I'm going to let Myra Diaz talk about that in just a moment. Um, but the gist of it is this. Uh, we will have the folks in Albuquerque saving $80,000 a year um, on their flood insurance. And that's coming about because of the great work that's being done by the citizen or by the city of Albuquerque employees, both at the hydrology department, at the Department of Municipal Development, at the planning department, to not only put flood control uh, features in around the city of Albuquerque to keep people from being uh, in, in in such aggressive floodplain situations, uh, but also just helping people succeed, as we were talking about earlier, in their planning processes. Um, as they, if they're going to build a home in a, in a floodplain, of course, you have to have flood insurance. And with what FEMA is going to be talking about today, uh, that's going to allow these folks' premiums to go down. So we have, uh, we also have several hundred homes uh, that used to be in the floodplain that because of the, of the work done by the, the employees of the city of Albuquerque and their planning department, et cetera, uh, those homes are no longer in certain floodplains. So it's just, uh, it's kind of a timely thing to happen today with all the rains that we had this weekend. But I think uh, in general terms, people can see some of the fruits of that labor, both during the microburst storm, where we had all of our flood control features work just famously. And uh, also this weekend, we had some issues around town, uh, but not nearly what we would have had if we wouldn't have had some of these great flood control measures in place. Well, it's my great pleasure to introduce uh, Myra Diaz. She's the director of the Region 6 FEMA office. And she's here to tell you a little bit about what FEMA's up to today. You want somebody to hold on to that for you, or you got it there? Yes. Um, I am not the director for FEMA Region 6. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I said <laughs> on my notes there, so apologize for that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I have any authority to promote you, but... Uh. Good afternoon, Mayor Berry. Uh, it is with great, great pleasure that the Federal Emergency Management Administration, in the name of the director, the administrator for the Federal Insurance Management Administration, presents to the city of Albuquerque, the plaque, the city of Albuquerque uh, went from a CRS class nine to a CRS class eight. 
CRS is a program that FEMA provides to communities that makes, that has an outstanding performance in the flood insurance and floodplain management measures. So for this, FEMA is presenting to the city of Albuquerque their plaque for the uh, performance in the community rating system in the name of the Federal in Insurance Management Administration Director, Mr. David Miller. Great, thank you so much, we appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you so thank much, you. I'm gonna hand that over there and then we're gonna have Mike Reardon come up, he's our Director of uh, Municipal Development, and tell you a little bit about some of the things that the City of Albuquerque has done to be able to uh, basically earn this uh, recognition from FEMA, lower the insurance rates for the citizens of Albuquerque, and get some of our folks out of the floodplain in the first place so they don't have to buy the flood insurance. Mike Reardon. Thank you, Mayor. Just want to take a moment to just appreciate the Mayor and, and being included in this, this meeting. Uh, public works and what we do with, the, with public funding is a very important part of, of the process we got today. And thank you for the planning department for taking all those and compiling all those efforts from the private side and the public side and getting where we are today. But um, you know, through the use of the geo bonds, when, when Mayor Barry took office, it was, it was stressed to us that we are here for basic services and to make sure that we comply with the people's needs. And storm drainage meets that. And for the three years, we necessarily haven't been tested with that, but uh, this summer is proof positive of those efforts of, of, of approximately $3 million a year going into storm drainage designs for both pump stations and, 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 and new pipe. And what we've done over the last three years is over 14,000 linear feet of pipe throughout the city of Albuquerque. This map represents some of the major projects that put that pipe in. And you'll notice that corresponds very closely to the FEMA floodplain maps of where that floodplain has been removed now. Um, we think it's, it's, it's more than 300 to 400 par uh, properties. We know, we, we, we compile our data based on acres and it's, it's more than 100 and 130 acres of floodplain has been removed from the city of Albuquerque. So that translates to about three to 400 people's residences that no longer have to pay flood insurance at all. Um, so a very big point of that. Um, we also want to announce that last, last Friday night when we were out in the storm, our, our highest area of concern was at in the area of Montano and the river. That area of the levee doesn't exist. People thought that it, the levee was there and it hasn't necessarily has never been mapped correctly, but we know from our mapping efforts that that portion of the levee is not there. We are working closely with our partners of the Corps of Engineers who have just get granted us a uh, $100,000 federal grant to start studying that levee and make improvements to that to actually even remove some floodplain that we don't even have yet. And that, that's high, high uh, concentration of, of apartment complexes down there, the Bosque School, and some orphanages, and, and an orphanage. So it's a very, uh, very high intense area that we're trying to protect. It's about one mile north and south of Montano River, or Montano Bridge over the river. So, uh, so two big announcements today. All this work to get to uh, FEMA to reduce our floodplain reduce properties that have flood plain insurance and also we're working on our next uh, large capital project at the Montana Bridge area. So I want to say thanks for having us here and uh, appreciate our partners at the Corps of Engineers and that $100,000 federal grant coming into our community because of the efforts of the mayor. Thank you. Thanks, thanks Mike. And that, that partnership with the Corps of Engineers is important for several reasons. Post Katrina, the Corps of Engineers has gone around the country and studied levee systems in cities all across our nation. Um, including the city of Albuquerque. So we've been really busy for the last three and a half years, if you will, meeting with the Corps of Engineers, talking about the processes that they have. We actually have a levy task force uh, at the city of Albuquerque that a number of our key, uh, uh, key individuals uh, in leadership at the city are involved in, uh, making sure that as we plan on levy improvements over time, the Corps of Engineers has a very robust plan in place for the nation as a whole, that we get something that, that fits the needs of Albuquerque, protects the Bosque, make sure that we uh, build something that's effective, but yet uh, maintains our natural resources. So there's a lot going on. Uh, another com key component to, to this award today certainly is our planning department. And uh, uh, Susie Lubar is here to talk uh, about the planning department. And then she's going to introduce um, Curtis Cherney, who's our, our city hydrologist as well. Susie. Thank you. Good afternoon. I'd like to just take a moment to thank Myra and Bill for joining us today and personally delivering this award and for your continued support and efforts in working with the planning department and the Department of Municipal Development to continue our progress and hopefully we'll continue to keep lowering our ratings year by year. Um, we are very pleased to receive this award and we are very proud of the planning department's staff and the cooperation and coordination that they 
engage in with the Department of Municipal Development and with FEMA to try and allow us to achieve great things for our city and to reduce the costs of insurance for our citizens. And I'd like to introduce to you and thank personally our city hydrologist, Curtis Cherney, and our engineering assistant, Rudy Rael. These two gentlemen have done sort of the yeoman's share of the work necessary to um, earn this, this reduced ranking that, that saves us, you know, that and saves our citizens their insurance fees. And um, I will turn it over to Curtis and let him have a moment to speak with you and answer any questions. Thank you. Well, first I wanted to thank uh, Ms. Diaz and Mr. Borthwick for personally coming here for this uh, uh, presentation of the award. Thank you. And, and I want to thank Mayor Barry for the, uh, this presentation. It means a lot to hydrology to be recognized for our efforts. Um, and uh, well, one of the uh, floodplain management is one of the more rewarding activities we do uh, in, in city hydrology. We help citizens with floodplain determinations, the nuts and bolts of the insurance program, and help them people stay dry when it's wet like it was this last week. Um, and with that, uh, I'd like to introduce Rui Real. He's the one that um, day after day, uh, this was, was one of our goals, was for, for him to uh, spend a lot of time working on this. And uh, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for his efforts. Thanks, thanks Rudy. Thank you so much, uh, Curtis, and everybody involved. FEMA, thank you. FEMA's involved on a national level, of course. We hear about the big storms that happen around the country. Uh, we're very blessed in Albuquerque, New Mexico, to have a little bit more of a stable weather environment than some parts of the country. Um, but FEMA's there for people when they need uh, the help. So uh, please send our, our thank yous uh, back to FEMA because we know if we ever got involved with a, with a large natural disaster here that you'd be there for us. And from Homeland Security, certainly, Bill, thank you so much for everything that you do. Uh, to keep people safe uh, in their homes, to protect their lives and their property, it takes everybody at all different levels, from the local to the state to the federal level. And we just have wonderful partnerships in place. And I think today is a perfect example of that. And what we're seeing today is local, state, and federal partnerships that are now saving people money on their insurance premiums to the tune of $80,000 a year, actually taking hundreds of homes out of the floodplain uh, and so they don't have to buy expensive floodplain insurance. And those are dollars that can go right back into our local economy. And it's all because of the great employees at the city of Albuquerque, their leadership, and also working with our partners on the federal and the state level to make this happen. So it's a good day for the citizens of Albuquerque. And then I think, as it was said earlier, um, in the past three years or so, we haven't been tested that much by weather events. We've been in this drought. But we certainly, with the microburst in July, that storm, and now with the events of this weekend, we certainly have been tested. So the great work that's being done by the employees of the city of Albuquerque and the engineers and the private sector engineers and the private sector contractors also that go out there and perform this work for us. It's paying off. It's making a real difference. So thanks again to everybody that's involved. We appreciate you. Thank you, Mayor. You bet. I know there's folks available. If anybody wants to do a one-on-one, -on -one, please. Oh, anybody have a question? I guess I can go for People be getting rebates on premiums already paid or just reduced yeah, rates? For the yeah, why don't you? I'll let the expert answer uh, that. Yeah, um, premiums are usually paid a year at a time. So at the time that we became the class eight, from that date, if you prepaid before that, you can get a rebate back to that date. And what is that date? Today or? May 1st. Uh, looks like May 1st, 2013. Okay. Mm -hmm. And where does. Where does, uh, I guess, rank eight? Is there a possibility to get it to one? Or do you, yeah, yeah that, it would be quite difficult, but yeah, the, the scale <laughs> is. <laughs> it would have to be a lot drier than here. <laughs> <laughs> you live in a weather-free environment, probably, to get up to, 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 to class one, but uh, yeah.